Hello Aries, Sun rising and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So Aries, let's go over the overall energy for your reading for today for Aries, Sun rising and Venus. So we do have reconciliation, and at the bottom of the deck, we do have very soon. So you could have an ex resurfacing back up here for you very soon. You could very well be thinking about extending yourself to an ex of yours. Now keep in mind, reconciliation could represent a family member wanting to reconcile with you or a friend wanting to reconcile with you but we'll see what it's more so leaning towards we're going to focus on you first aries and then we'll jump over to your person just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed also keep in mind time is fluid so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date how does aries currently view this relationship so we do have the six of pentacles we also have the world as well as the queen of pentacles the bottom of the deck we do have the six of swords and then we also why are you doing this why are you doing this the first thing that came to my mind is i have to go i have to go i have to go i have to go i can't do this why though <laughs> why six of pentacles to the six of swords Whoever this person is, Aries, that you're deciding to, you know, call it quits with, it, it's somebody that you have a very healthy relationship with. Um, it's definitely somebody who has your, your best interests at heart. And I feel like you know that. I feel like you know that. But I, I just keep getting this energy. I, I can't do this. I can't. I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. But why? I don't, I don't understand. What is going on? I feel like I'm missing something. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Whoever this person... Hold on. Whoever this person is that you're ending things with, it's somebody that you trust. It's somebody that you know has your back. It's somebody that you know has your best interests at heart. It's someone that you know you could also have a very long um, and stable and healthy relationship with. But for whatever reason, dude, it's like you're falling into this energy of, I, I can't do this. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't do I got to go. I can't do this. Okay. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. Something about what you're doing here and this connection feels wrong to you. It feels wrong to you. What in the world is going on? I'm very determined to get down to the bottom of this here. This person that you're currently talking to, this person that you're currently building towards a relationship with, I can't get off of that. There's something about you, right, you know, building with this person that feels, it just feels wrong to you. It feels wrong to you. Hmm, I feel like I'm missing something. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. Um, okay, it all makes sense now. We have the Knight of Pentacles, we got the Six of Cups, and then we also have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Um it, it, it kind of looks what well, it kind of looks like it kind of looks like the real reason why you feel this way, Aries, has a lot to do with the fact that you kind of know where you want to be and who you want to be with, and it's not with this person that you're currently chit-chatting with slash getting to know. Um you are a very, very loyal person, a very freaking loyal person, very freaking loyal. It's, it's interesting because even though this person that you want to basically be with um, and build with, even though this person is currently not in your life, um, because you're, you're, you're such a freaking loyal person, it's like a lot of you feel like by even going on dates with this new person or even building towards a new relationship with this new person, you're kind of betraying them. But technically speaking, you're not because... You're not with them anymore, but it feels like you're you're betraying them by even chit-chatting with this one or even entertaining this one that you currently find yourself connecting with. So like I said, you ain't with them any anymore because I don't feel like you are, but you're still very much so loyal 
to this person from your past. So even by what you're doing here now, um, it, it feels wrong. It, it, feel, it, it feels like you're cheating on this person that you're not even with anymore. Hopefully I'm making sense here. But anyways, how does this person currently view this relationship with Aries? We have the Eight of Wands. All right. With the Lovers to the Three of Cups. The bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, Two of Wands, and then we also have the Empress. So this person that you're currently chit-chatting with slash getting to know, um, they're very dead set on you. Very dead set on you. I mean, this person looks at you like you're an Empress, regardless of your gender. Male or female doesn't matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us, but um, they, they just basically look at you like you're the total package. They wouldn't change absolutely anything about you. They're very dead set on you and pursuing something serious here with you. And I feel like you already kind of know that about them. That's kind of besides the point. Um, now, even though you know where you want to be, who you want to be with, and it's not with this person that you're currently chit-chatting with, Aries, I don't see you taking action in their direction. I don't see you taking action in their direction. How does Aries currently feel... Yeah, there's this secret desire, Aries, that you have to come back together here with someone and fix and repair things. Um, with the Three of Pentacles, for me as a reader, you know, we could look at it in two different ways. This could represent the very beginning stages of a relationship, but it could also represent um, a repairing energy between two people who already have a lot of history with one another. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it kind of looks like Aries, um, who you want to build with is currently not in your life anymore. You still have a lot of emotions here for them. You still want this relationship that you once upon a time had here with them. But it's interesting because even though I see you wanting to reconnect with them, Wanting to fix and repair things here with them. Still having feelings for them. We still don't see you taking action in their direction. We still don't see you taking action. Okay, let me... What, what What's currently going on with the person that Aries was once upon a time romantically involved with? What's going on with them? What's going on with them? Hmm, wow. Wow. Um, currently at the moment, um, I see this person definitely thinking about gravitating towards you and healing things here with you. Uh, so they might end up doing it very, very soon, but Jesus Christ, this person's showing up as the, uh, devil to the king of wands, to the king of cups, Jesus, this person Especially with the King of Cups right next to the Devil, I think one can say that this person's kind of madly in love with you, uh, kind of borderline crazy about you. Um, some may like that stuff, some, some may not like that stuff, but I'm definitely getting that from them, that they are kind of a little borderline crazy about you. I'm also kind of getting that this person might have a really bad temper. I'm definitely getting that as well off of this person, but... Kind of looks like they still want you and they still want to be with you and they still want to fix and repair things here with you. I mean, there's still a lot of love here, you guys, between you and this person. They're showing up as a king of cups. You're showing up as a queen of cups. So the likelihood of the two of you getting back together because they still want this and you still want this, it's basically at all time high. The only thing that's, you know, preventing the two of you from currently coming together is, well, currently at the moment, you're not really taking action in their direction. Um, and I kind of feel like they haven't been taking action in your direction for a while now, but it kind of looks like they're going to very, very soon. Tell me more about the devil. I feel like when this relationship, um, when this relationship came to an end here, uh, between you and them, they started to kind of spiral out of control. Um, they could very well be a drinker. That's definitely a possibility. Um, 
it's like they were indulging in something to like numb the pain, like drugs, alcohol, you know, things of that nature. It's like they were trying to do whatever it is that they could, you know what I mean, to kind of numb the pain and forget about you and what they once upon a time had here with you. But it, it kind of looks like no matter how hard they try to kind of escape the thought of you and this pain that they're feeling on their behalf, um, it just kind of looks like they couldn't find a way to actually do it as far as like officially numbing the pain for good. You know what I mean? And officially getting over you for good and officially um, not thinking about you for good. Um, there's also an energy of them kind of feeling out of place without you in their life. And that could just mean that you guys got so accustomed to having one another around. I mean, it happens, you know, when you're with a person for a long period of time. Um, but yeah, they feel very out of place very lost um i kind of feel like they feel and think that the only way to escape what they're currently experiencing as far as this pain um and this emptiness and this energy of feeling lost is to basically you know get back with you not only because of those reasons but also because well they love you you know what i mean and, and they want to make this work okay let's keep going let's jump back to this new human of yours now that we got that out of the way because i was like what in the world's going on with them um how does this person currently feel The first thing that came to my mind was the high priestess. I feel like this person's getting um, an intuitive hit about you, to be completely honest. Um, and I feel like it's causing them to really overthink things just a little bit within this dynamic that they share with you. Very, very interested in you. They're very, very interested in you. They want to build with you. They want to establish something solid here with you. But they're getting an intuitive hit about you and it's causing them to kind of overthink things tell me more about the um eight of swords yep 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 um we have the king of pentacles we have the moon we have the world we have the nine of cups and then we have the death card um this person has this massive fear of losing you okay so one can say this person has abandonment issues but i don't i don't feel like that's kind of what we're seeing here i just kind of feel like they have this massive fear of losing you and i kind of feel like they've been feeling this way since they kind of met you and that's just this person's intuition uh kind of telling them that this right here ain't gonna last for too long okay um that's basically like the meaning behind the message of why they kind of feel like at any given moment they're about to basically lose you they don't know why they feel this way they don't know why they're getting these thoughts about them you know losing you uh one day but th the reason why all this is happening is because this right here that y'all got going on here with one another it's not gonna last too long it's not gonna last too long and the quicker that they can accept that uh, the better off they'll be. But we don't see them doing that. We kind of see them fighting against their own intuition here when it comes down to you. Um, because they want you, right? And because they want to build with you. These negative thoughts that they're getting um, on their end just doesn't align to what they truly want and desire with you. So they're dismissing it. Like, no, mm -mm. nope, not today intuition. Not today intuition because I want to be with Aries and then and, and that's just that. You know what I mean? Um so then there's that they might even communicate that to you like they might tell you that they have a massive fear of losing you um they just might but it kind of looks like that's why all of that is happening all right what actions will aries take towards this person or moving forward we have the five of swords we have the hermit oh i feel like these are phases that you're kind of going through like these are phases that you're kind of going through it's like you, how do I say this? It's like you go from being very open and receptive to you and this new person to like pulling a 180 on them all of a sudden. It's like you go from, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I really do want to be with you. And yeah, 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 I can really see myself having something serious with you. And then, you know, something happens within you that causes this 180, um, to take place and now it's kind of like we see you pushing them away now we kind of see you attracting your energy here uh from them um and everything that you're doing here 
Aries, it's not a coincidence, right? Everything in life happens for a reason. The fact that you're pulling this 180 here on them, and, and you're not pulling this 180 here on them because this ex of yours decided to resurface back up here for you, because I don't feel like they resurfaced back up here for you yet. Um, but I feel like the reason why you're kind of pulling this 180 um, is because I, I kind of feel like your soul kind of knows what's about to happen way before you do. Um, so you're kind of pushing this person away. And as you're pushing this person away, technically speaking, you're making room for something else to come in. And if I had to bet my last dollar on it, I'm going to go ahead and say that it's this ex of yours that has not resurfaced back up here for you just yet. But unknowingly, you're pushing them away and just basically making room for this person to basically arrive. Um, you may not think that they're going to resurface back up here for you. You may not even believe that they actually are. But the fact that you're kind of moving the way that you're moving without realizing it, all you're really doing is pushing them away because unknowingly, this one over here is going to come back around your way. And just kind of based off of the cards that we already got here for you, it's pretty evident to me you still want to be with this ex of yours. Um, so when they do resurface back up here for you, nothing's going to really come in between the two of you. It's not going to be this person. It's not going to be absolutely anyone else because you're making room. You're making room in advance before it even happens. Like I said, I feel like your soul kind of knows what's about to happen way before you do. And that's kind of why you're moving the way that you're moving. Like, think about it. Like, have you ever did something just randomly out of the blue? And that random thing that you did out of the blue actually benefited you um, later on down the line? You know what I mean? It's kind of one of those moments where you're randomly doing something out of nowhere. You don't really know why you're doing it. You're just doing it. And then somehow, some way, it ends up benefiting you later on down the line. Um, what's going to happen next? We have the uh, Queen of Swords. We got the Five of Pentacles. We also have the Magician E. And then we also have the uh, Five of Pentacles. I am definitely getting um, a split happening here. But I feel like the split is kind of happening here between you and this person. You're definitely walking away from this entire situation. And you're shifting your focus, I would say, back onto yourself. Your finances, your career, the things that you want to manifest and create uh, for yourself into fruition. Interesting enough, I decided to kind of pull these three cards here at the bottom of the deck. But now, look at what we have here. We have the uh, King of Wands. We got the Devil. And then we also have the uh, Page of Swords. This person is definitely reaching out to you. They're definitely gravitating towards you. I kind of feel like this person's under some type of influence. I don't know if this person, when they do reach out to you, it's coming from a place of liquid courage. I don't know what in the world's going on here, but I feel like this person's kind of under some type of influence. They might be a drinker. That's a possibility, but you're going to hear from them, okay? And when you do hear from them, you guys will eventually get back together. I do definitely see that happening. With the King and the Queen of Wands, and I say this a lot about these two. Typically, when these two break up, they always end up getting back together. Because when they break up, they tend to gravitate towards other people in hopes that, you know, that other person will help them forget about, you know, the person that they were last with. And they kind of realize that um, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I feel like you attempted to forget about this person and move forward and move on with your life. And it kind of looks like that didn't work. Um, but I feel like this person has done the same, you know, where they try to put themselves out there in hopes that eventually the right person will come along to help them forget about you forever. But it didn't work. And this is what these two tend to um, experience. When these two actually do break up for good for good, um, these two, these two typically... Um, won't get into a relationship um, right away. These two typically won't get into a relationship right away. It takes them years uh, to get over one another, something that I've kind of noticed in this line of work with the King and the Queen of Wands. They tend to... They tend to uh, be single for a while after dealing... Uh, after dealing with one another. All right, let's keep going. We have the Nine of Wands. We got the, uh, interesting, Nine of Swords. And then we also have the uh, Six of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment card. We also have the Fool. And then we also have the um, Knight of Wands. 
the first thing that came to my mind is this always happens to me this always happens to me um i feel like this person is definitely getting crushed by you because you don't want to proceed forward in the ways that they want you to so yeah i do feel like this person is getting crushed by you I'm not worried or concerned about it i feel like they'll eventually get over it but i do kind of see them in a little bit of a rut i kind of see them kind of going through this energy of oh man this always happens to me why do i even bother with love this is such a waste of time you know things of that nature now, with the Judgment card to the full to the Knight of Wands, like I said, you guys, this person's going to move past all of this. Um, I mean, it sucks that they're feeling this way, and it, and it sucks that, you know, things didn't work out here between the two of you, but they're going to move on from this. They're going to move past all of this, and I feel like eventually they'll find um, someone else, but unfortunately, I do kind of see this person getting very disappointed by you, and it's mainly because you're going to be reconnecting with this person from your past. But before you do actually reconnect here with this person from your past, it kind of looks like you're going to, you know, end things here between you and this person over here way before this person actually resurfaces back up here for you, okay? So that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.